doing well I am super stoked for today again why it's fishing time so we're gonna head out to Max again on the left hand side of the pavilion we're gonna target some stem rust today we uh, we're gonna get some mussel some worm and some prawn we've got a bit of mass bunker depends what else is in the water uh, got some chocker heads as well so we've got a variety of baits but we want to go for some stem rust um, yeah, I've already made brekkie, made some sandwiches. Uh, so it's just a matter of packing the van and uh, heading out to fetch John. And uh, we'll take it from there. And uh, hopefully we'll have some fish to show you guys. Um, holding thumbs, keeping toes crossed. Today's the day. Um, I'll check in with you guys a bit later. But for now, it's pack, pack, pack and go check in now all right i forgot to mention we might have a we might have a visitor today uh rion rodemeyer from uh Rodemeyer fishing outdoors check his uh, facebook page uh Rodemeyer fishing outdoors uh, he's a he's a professional tour guide so uh i'm gonna hopefully pick his brain and pick it apart because i need some some advice so hopefully he'll be generous enough to i'm sure he will give us some lacquer advice so we're really looking forward to that um yeah otherwise Let's get going guys, let's get going. Right, just doing a last check quickly. Got everything. Uh, oh, what I want to show you guys is this lanyard. I got it at Hook It Cast and Drone, and it's really, it's really well made. Tough, robust stuff. I mean, I've had a few lanyards before. Hello, puppy. And uh, he wants to go for a walk with us now, and this will actually carry his weight. And uh, I've had a few lanyards before, and and this, this really is is really good quality hey eh? I'm super impressed so yeah check it out who could cast and, and drone um, you'll see it bounces right back I mean I've had lanyards that just don't they don't have that spring that comes all the way back look at that fantastic anyway tough to that check him out it's got my stamp of approval if it's if it means anything uh, yeah happy days guys
Puppy. Hello, puppy. Come. <laughs> right, guys. We, uh, I'm, I've just got John now. He's going to come jump in in a minute. We've packed the van by his place. His wife makes the best cake that I know. I've just had, I've just had uh, a cream biscuity type cake. I don't know the name of it. Delicious. With some eclairs. Whew. So I am chock-a-block already and it's not even 8 o'clock. Ah, I'm going to roll into the beach. Here's Johnny. Johnny has arrived. Johnny the legend. Morning, buddy. Come grab a seat. All right. Yeah, so the cake was absolutely divine. I feel like my gears have gone down a notch to very slow. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Good day, happy people. Good greetings, my friend. Thank you, thank you. All right, how you been, buddy? All right, all right, all right. just uh, sugar rush from the cake. Sheesh, thanks for the cake, man. Eh? Unreal, eh? All good. Yeah. Let's go catch that fish. All right, so we need to go and uh, hit the road. Just hang on for the gate for me, though. Okay. Wait. Yeah. <clears throat> right, guys, we'll check up as soon as we get to the beach. We'll check in and see if it is not too full. Um, yeah, we'll give you an update once we're there. Right. Almost there. Ciao, ciao. Fantastic. Sweet. Low rolling waves. Water's nice and dirty. Not a drop of wind. Got zero wind, eh? Oh. Hopefully today we'll produce. Target species today is Steambras and Bauman. Hopefully there's a cop floating by. It's quite a dip, eh? Hold on. Oh, the water looks really nice, the colour is awesome. Mm. Oh, the gap is even further, is this way you look at that? Yeah. Oh. Just watch your side there. Yeah. Ah, the beach looks full. Quite a few yeah. anglers here. Guys, we've arrived. My rod is in, and uh, I've got a bit of bloodworm on. John's setting himself up here as well. With some fresh bloodworm. We've got all the baits for the steam brush and anything else in the water. So let's hope uh, we get some action. Beach is full, especially down there. But we had an old spot where we were yesterday, uh, last week. So yeah, we'll see what happens, guys. All right, John's on. John is on. Are you on, John? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Nicely done, John. Let's go. That was quick, eh? That was quick. Yo. All right. Let's take it, buddy. Nicely done. He's giving you a fight. All right. Bring it in, John. How far you out? Yeah. Whoa! Look at that guy. Woo! St. Joseph. St. Joseph. That's quite a big fella, eh? Well done, eh? <laughs> <laughs> not, not what we want, but uh, no, we'll, we'll take it, eh? Fish. Yeah. Sure, that was fast, Johnny. You can use your bait again as well. Nice. <laughs> Very well done, John. 
Right, so yeah, that's how it starts there, guys. It's just, uh, yeah, I'm excited now. All right, we're going to obviously return him. Yeah, he's a big fella. Do you want to measure him, John? Yeah, we can. Just take measure. His size, more than size. Yeah, but you don't eat that, do you? Where's he gone? Is he in the shadow? Oh, he's in the shadow. Where? Did you step out the shadow? Okay. Oops. There you go. Lovely man, lovely. You're getting comments on the road. That's yeah. lovely, John. Really Three good. Days. Nice fish. Nice fish. You can't keep him, he's big enough, but yeah. I'd rather let him go. Alright. It's not our target species. Yeah. I can't walk in now. Hey? I can't walk in. It's fine. What is it? Oh, it's steam brush. Hey? Finally got a video of your fish. Yeah? Well done. Thanks, dude. Hey? It's uh what do you get on? Prawn. Prawn. It's not big, but I'll take it. It's a telly. Well, Very yeah. Pleased. We won't talk about the size of the fish. It's about catching the fish. So well done. Put him back. Bye-bye. Nice man. Hang on. Stuff. One up, One nice. Up. Here we go. Shut the thing off. Alright. Thanks John. Okay. I'll do it. Beautiful. Happy. Tide's going out now. So I think things are going to quieten down a bit until sunset. Uh, I've got my stand brush which I'm very pleased. John's first cast. He got his uh, St. Joseph shark. What else did you get John? A guitar shark. Huh? You got a guitar shark as well eh? I've got a guitar shark. Yeah. I've got an elephant fish, or otherwise known as St. Joseph. Right. You had a small skimmer. Okay. Okay, and we have plenty of bites. So, so far, very happy. Very, very happy. Yeah. I'm going to have a drink. Can have me some drinks? Yes, yes. Uh, Lovely. So then you can advertise what? Coca Cola Zero? Do you like the glass? I'd love some, sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, where is my glass? There we go, some service please. Lovely jubbly. Alright. That's it. Whoop. Whoop. Ah. Right guys. Two more fish. Mm. What do you say John? Mother's milk? Mother's milk. Mother's milk? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Alright guys. Happy days, it's a beautiful day. We amped. Man, it beats it beats anything that we can think of for now. Right guys, we'll check in with you a bit later. Stay easy. Lunch time. Thank you, John, once again. Vienna's mayonnaise and bread. Very good. Change it up. I think we do a brine next time. Hey John, we do a brine next time. Maybe do a brew or so brine. Do something different. 
Precious. Precious. Mm. So for now, some of the guys are leaving. Um, but it's gone very quiet now. So I think towards sunset again, things will pick up. But you never know, our line's in the water. So uh, there's the bait's disappearing. Um, Yeah, to where it goes. Hmm. Anyway, we'll see what happens, and uh, you never know. Maybe we get a nice big one. Maybe not. Bad day fishing beats a good day at the office. Hands down. Uh -huh. We should have in with you a bit later. Oh, yeah. I bought mm. this at uh, Hooked, Hooked Casting Casting Drone. Drone. Mm. The Casting Drone. Yeah. Okay, it's the best thing ever. I've lost so many scissors and knives. I with the I with the blue one. Yeah, and look how strong it is, eh? Yeah. And I can I can cut over here if I want to. It's a really mm. it tracks back to the same thing. Got a little carabiner over here or a carry rig. Mm. So you can put this on that side or anywhere in your box and attach your tools to this. Very nice. 100%. I've not you, lost it. <laughs> you, can trim, you can trim your beard. This morning, <laughs> this morning I was looking for the scissors everywhere. I couldn't find it. Mm -hmm. I know exactly where they are. Lovely. Really handy. Even if you've got like a um, rod belt, not all about yeah. on you, you can attach it to that. Or some of the guys have bait buckets or whatever on their side. Yeah. Yeah. Or their waders. Very nice. Like when it comes in, not just a fishing anyway, you can use it anyway. What do you, you pay know? for it? I think it was 60, 60 rand. It was 60 rand, eh? Yeah. I see guys have a with these on the internet. Mm. Um, not, not as good as this, yeah. but for 120 bucks. Wow. So okay. mm. I think uh, my Google costs are going to make it themselves. So oh, okay. that's manufactured. That's right. It's really good. Yeah. Um, I recommend anybody give them a look. You've got the wetting, but you can phone them and see if you can make arrangements or whatever. Nice. I like it. Awesome. I like it. Nice. Alright, guys. We'll check in with you again a bit later as the day progresses ready for my next time i retrieve my line in okay it's a blood worm taking the head end of it it won't tell me about so long okay i just chopped it in half there thread it through the middle on a 3.0 j hook and i popped it off over there on the end of that i have a second j hook which is sliding and all i do maybe you can see there i bring it down and it's all loose here you see so what i do I just take a little bit of line like that i wrap it around so it can't move and then i bring it through the top of the worm what it does it stops your worm i'm sliding down okay so there's the hook see like that okay. and there's yeah. the worm on the bottom i just leave that as a tease on the end for the fish Normally it's normal, it's a bit straighter. Mm. And what I do, I've got a small running float for the steam brush. Okay. okay, pop it down there. Like uh, that, that's just to agitate the water a bit. It's on. And then on this end, I've got a two-way sw swivel. And right. on the end of my line, I've got a little clip. We are unclip the other one and keep this one on. So okay. now I'm ready to go. So it's a quick change, eh? It's a quick change, yeah. yeah. So let me take a look at that guy. So there's your... There's your top hook, that stops it from running down, and your bottom hook. You don't want a big float on there, it's yeah. just to agitate the, the bait in the water. If you cast, the G-force pushes this down, doesn't it? Yeah, normally. Yeah, alright. So yeah. that hook will stop it from crunching on Try the bottom. Try and get a bit more straight if you can. Yeah. What I, actually, I can do it now quickly. Let me show you. Take that J-hook out. Okay, unwind the, the line off of it. Like so. Okay, and then what I'll do... I'll try and straighten it a bit, like that, a J-hook around a bit there, okay, and then put it through again, like that, there we go, oh, good idea. Yeah. see there, All bring right. that float down, I've got a bite, I've got a fish on, I've got a fish on, I've got a fish on, a fish on there, on. yep, Oh, no, he's gone. Is it? 
What bait you got on, John? How's the fish on? Lovely stuff, John. Okay. So the blast will be. Okay, so the muscle did work. <laughs> Not what we want, but uh, at least it's a bit of action, eh, John? Yeah, something, eh? All right. The blast will be there. Still, congratulations. Yeah. We we're not fussy. It's what it is. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well done. Nice. Awesome. All right. <laughs> we will definitely release that one back. All right. Okay. So there's my old bait with the fish on it. Come up here. Up here. You see this clip? A clip. So you pull that down there like that. That comes off. And then this one. You see there. Open that a bit. Put that there like that. Slides down. Back on. Quick change. Ready to go. How's that? Nice. Eh? Mm. Awesome. What do? Cost. Okay, let's drop that down again. It's not work out. What do I do there? Okay. Okay. There's my sinker trace. Take the hook on the bottom there. Clip it on there like that. More aerodynamic, huh? Where'd you go, hey? Aerodynamic now. That's right. Get more distance. And the bait's not flying one way and the sinker's not flying one way. Both together. Okay. They both go flying. Perfect. Okay. So. Give it a cast. Here we go. Alright. Yeah. Lovely. All right, what I'm doing now is I want to just do a quick little chocker chocker setup again. Um, I'm going to keep the prawn for later. We've got more prawn. I'm going to keep that for later, near towards sunset. So this is just for good longevity. So I put a thin piece on there. It's been hammered. It's been tenderized. Lovely. Then what I'll do is cut some tails into here. This one. Do that. And do that. Everybody's got their own way. Um, I'm going to do this. Bring it down onto that. Like such, and then tape it up. And uh, hopefully, this entices a fish. If I was a fish, I would eat this. Well, isn't this calamari? Still eat it. So this is nice and tough. You know, they really got to bite hard to get rid of this stuff off the hook. You'll see it. You'll see when they nibble on this very easily. And things are quiet now, so I can just cast it out and 
hope for the best whereas if I use muscle or prawn one or two bites and it's gone then it's rebaiting this can just give you time to relax a bit because we've been fishing quite hard quite busy so that's it some guys put these tentacles on the top but uh, I'm just going to give this a go just for variety and uh, let's see what happens with this guys all right wish me luck all right okay it looks like John's got bitten off so there's there's elf in the water obviously yeah. is it frayed off huh? it's bit off you can feel it's on bitten, the bitten run off huh? well all right cool change the trace huh? yeah well guys as you can see the sun's almost down John doesn't want to do the ending for me he refuses to do the ending John just this man there he doesn't want to do the ending so he's left it to me it's been a good day we didn't bring anything else out uh, we might stick around for a little longer if anything happens we'll definitely uh, let you know but otherwise for now it's been good no complaints outside subscribers thank you very much thanks for tuning in uh, the new the old awesome thank you um, my numbers are they keep growing um, I don't know what I'm doing right don't know what I'm doing wrong <laughs> who knows it's all good I'm very pleased um, so yeah Rian wasn't able to make it I, I think he's uh, I think he was fully booked up today so the last time I communicated with him was on Friday and uh, I haven't got a message yet because the signal's so bad here so uh, I don't know I think I'm sure he's fully booked I saw him earlier down up the uh, up the coast he had some clients with him so um, but we definitely look out for it we're definitely going to get hold of um, of Rion he's going to uh, he's going to give us some lacquer advice and uh, hopefully put us on some fish or whatever the case may be like I said I'm going to pick his brain but for now thanks guys if you like what you see in the video please like share subscribe um, yeah what more else can I say catch you on the next video guys what do you say, John? Till next time. Till next time. Have a good week, guys. Cheers.